Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, I am going to show how to make 3D models using CD Curve Tools. So let's get started. So here we are in Maya. First let's see how to create a curve. Go to create, then curve tools, and here you will see there are a lot of options to create curve. To draw a curve, technically we use two types of tools, one is the CD curve tool, and another is the EP curve tool. The only difference between these two tools are how the points are positioned on the curve. You can see in the EP curve, when you are drawing them, all the points get sort of placed right along the curve. If you right click and go to control vertex, you can actually select each vertices and move them to make the shape of the curve proper. Whereas, when you are using a CV curve, there is a sort of a softer fall off. The difference is not big, it's really just kind of how the curves are calculated. Here also, you can go to control vertex and arrange the vertices accordingly. But for the most part, most people use CV curves, and I find that, the results that you get from the CV curve tend to be smoother, so I will strongly recommend you to use CV curve. Another thing is that when we draw curve tool, we will use the orthographic view, such as the side, front, top, etc. We won't be able to draw a proper curve in the perspective view. So let's draw a CV curve tool and see an example. Let's make a rough shape by just clicking the left mouse button, like this. Now press enter to come out from the curve tool. Then right click, go to control vertex, and then smooth out the curve by adjusting the vertices. Right click and go to object mode. Then go to surfaces, from here, select revolve. And you will get this kind of shape. As you can see the outside of the shape is coming as black and the inside portion is coming as gray. The reason for this is the actual axis from where you are drawing the curve. If you remember, I drew the curve starting from the top to the bottom. If I draw the curve starting from the bottom, then the result will be different. Let's see an example. Select CV Curve Tool, and this time, let's draw the curve from the bottom. Now, right-click and go to Object Mode. Then go to Surfaces, and select Revolve. Now you can see, the surface came right this time, that means the outside color is gray and the inside color is black. But the shape that is created this time is very different from what we actually want. If I press Ctrl-Z to undo one step, and select the curve, you can see the pivot of the curve is actually placed on the center of the grid. When we draw a CV curve, anywhere on the viewport, by default, the pivot of the curve always stays at the origin, that is the center of the grid. Now, let's select this shape and the curve, and create a layer, then turn off the visibility of the layer. I will delete this one, and let's see how we can fix the shape of this curve. There are two ways to solve this problem. First method is, right-click and go to Control Vertex, then drag and select all the vertices, and move them towards the origin. See that the first vertex touches the origin. Now go to Object Mode, select the curve, then go to Surfaces, and then select Revolve. Then select the curve, go to Control Vertex, and you can change the shape by moving the vertices. You can play with it and make the shape as per your choice. Now I will undo all these and go back to the original position, and then, let's see the second method. In this method, we are gonna move the pivot and place it in the starting position of the curve. So to move the pivot, press D on your keyboard, and you can freely move the pivot anywhere you want. Now, if you press D and V together on your keyboard, then you can snap the pivot to the vertices of the curve. Now you can move the curve at the origin. Press X on your keyboard to snap on the grid. 
After that, go to Surfaces and select Revolve to make the shape. Now then, I will adjust the vertices of the curve to make a shape like a flower vase. That is how easily you can create a shape using the Curve tool. Now, let's see how can we use different options in the Revolve. Select this shape and delete it. Now, select the curve, then go to Surfaces and click on Revolve option box. Go to Edit and let's reset the settings. Now, as you can see by default, the axis preset is selected for Y axis. If I press Apply now, it will give this kind of shape. Let's undo it and change the axis preset to X and then press Apply. It will create a different kind of shape. If you click Z axis and apply, it will create a shape like this. Now, if you choose free, you can put different values for different axes. Let's put one in X axis and apply, it will create a shape like this. You can create different interesting shapes by playing with all these values for different axes. Let's keep this axis preset in Y for now and let's see the other options. You can change the position of the pivot also from here. By default, this remains as object. But if you select preset, you can give different values and set the pivot position. Since we already set the pivot, let's see other options. As you can see, the surface degree remains as cubic by default. If we apply, then it will give this smooth kind of shape. And if we change the surface degree to linear and hit apply, it will create a surface with hard edges like this. Let's keep it in cubic and let's see the other options. By default, the value of end sweep angle remains 360. If I tone it down to 180 and hit apply, it will create a half shape like this. Now, if I keep the value of start sweep angle to 180 and the end sweep angle to 360 and hit apply, it will create half shape from the other side. Now then, let's reset the settings and see the other options that are left. If I increase the segments to 20 and then hit apply, it will increase the subdivisions of the shape. If I turn up the value to more like 50, it will increase the subdivision of the shape accordingly. You can play with the values and see what looks best for you. You can also change the values even after applying the default revolve options. Let's reset the settings and then hit apply. Minimize the option box, then go to channel box. Here you will find the same options under inputs. Now select any option and then middle mouse drag on the viewport and you can play with these settings like this. Try out different options and see what looks best for you. So here I created this flower vase using curve tool. Let's see what happens when we delete the history. So you can see this shape is no longer connected with the curve tool. If I make changes in the vertices of the curve, then it will not update in the shape of the model. But this is not a polygon geometry, this is actually NURB surface. If you hold right-click, then you can see these options are different from what we have in polygon geometry. To convert this NURB surface to polygon, go to Modify, and from here, go to Convert, and you will find NURBs to polygons. Click on this, and it will create a polygon geometry from the NURB surface. But this came out as a triangulated geometries. To make quads, go to the option box. By default, it is selected as triangles. Select quads and hit apply. This time, it came out as quad geometries, but there are some problems here, as you can see some of the edges and not connected. 
This is because of those values in the option box. You can play with it and try to fix them, but if I select count and then hit apply, it will create proper edge flow of the quads. You can change the count value according to your choice and play with different settings to see what looks best for you. Now if you turn on the wireframes, you can see the difference in the topology of all these objects. Now, since this one is the NURB surface and we converted the others to polygons, those are all connected with the original. If I move this one, then those converted polygons will move with it. And if I go to control vertex and move some vertices and do some changes, then the same changes will apply to the polygons as well. This will happen with the curve also. Let's delete these ones and again apply revolve to this curve. Now select this one, then convert it to polygon. Then if you want to change the shape of the polygon, then select the curve, go to control vertex, and you can change the shape by adjusting the vertices of the curve. This is how you can make a 3D model using CD curve tool. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comments section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.